After eight months of halted production, American Horror Story season 10 is about to begin filming again, and there have been a ton of updates regarding the season since my last update video. So if you want to stay as up to date as possible with American Horror Story, stay tuned to this video and make sure you're subscribed. Hold on. It's been almost three years. I think it may be time. Get ready for the real American Horror Story. Okay, so hi, my name is Skylar. A lot of you have never seen my face before and that's really scary to think about, so I'm not gonna think about it too much. Uh, yes, this is my face, and as you'll notice, I talk with my hands a lot. If you haven't unsubscribed already, I thank you. But let's just move on with the video. Uh, this video was made with the help of my channel members, as always, and if you would like to become a member, you can hit the join button below for as little as 99 cents a month and become a member. One, it helps me out a lot, and two, you'll get a ton of exclusive perks, such as exclusive videos every month, access to my Discord server, but I know you are all here for American Horror Story news, and I've got a ton of it, so let's just move on with the video. In case you haven't seen my previous videos regarding this season, the main cast for season 10 is Kathy Bates, Leslie Grossman, Billy Lord, Evan Peters, Sarah Paulson, Adina Porter, Lily Rabe, Angelica Ross, Finn Wittrock, and Macaulay Culkin. Recently, Angelica Ross revealed some details about her role, so let's roll the clip. I have not started shooting American Horror Story yet. We just started production, um, pre-production. Um, and so I don't want to give anything away. I've read the first three scripts of season 10 and I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, Ryan Murphy loves me and I love Ryan Murphy. <laughs> Uh, and I just, that's, I have, I just, that's the only thing I can, because every time I look at my roles coming from Ryan Murphy's world, I'm like, what did I do to deserve such amazing roles? Um, so this season coming up is going to be yet another powerful role that he has written me into. So I just stay tuned. I mean, am I going to blur the lines of, uh, what's right and wrong? Probably in this in this role, but um, you best believe that I'm going to be playing a powerhouse in this next season of American Horror Story. So how do you prepare for it? What what do you have to do because of COVID? Do you have to quarantine, testing? What have, what have they told you? Yes. Yeah, so in order to go back to filming, we pretty much have to be in a cycle of being tested every other day. So we get tested about three times a week, um, and even when we're not filming, you know, they want us to still stay in that bubble, you know? And so if we're not, let's say we still just have to test bef like three days prior to when we go back onto set. Cause I believe that's sort of the turnaround time of getting results. It seems our cast for season 10 is expanding with two new additions potentially being revealed. Keep in mind, these will very likely not be main roles. They might be recurring roles throughout the season or even one episode characters. The first of the two new additions is Ryan Piera Armstrong, whose IMDb page has been updated to show that she is in the first episode of season 10. Now this has happened in the past where smaller actors may uh, have their IMDb pages updated with American Horror Story roles, and we do actually end up seeing those actors in the season. So. There is some basis to uh, this actor potentially being in the season, but IMDb is not always the most reliable source. So this actor is not confirmed, but uh, she is a child actor who has had a lot of roles in film and television, including It Chapter 2 and Anne with an E on Netflix. But the next new cast member after her is actually confirmed uh, because this actor was posted on Ryan Murphy's Instagram. He is a contortionist by the name of Spencer Novich and Ryan Murphy shared his audition tape for season 10 on his Instagram. So let's watch that and then we'll discuss it because there are some potential hints towards the season. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, so obviously Spencer Novich can do a lot of crazy things with his body, and he has also had roles in circus-related films, so... Ryan's caption to this post on Instagram was, Congrats to Spencer Novich, who is joining the cast of this season's American Horror Story. This is the audition that got him the job. Guess the title yet? No, Ryan, we can't, but there are a ton of fan theories that have come up in the past week, and I will share the major one with you 
after this next major update that we have gotten for season 10. The first official poster for season 10 has been revealed, and it features an extreme close-up on a mouth with some gnarly teeth, a tattoo pen dripping ink onto the tongue, which has the letters AHS10 tattooed onto it. I worded that really weird, but I think you get what I'm saying. Lots to discuss about this poster, but let's just start off with some clarification. Um, a lot of people, including myself, initially thought that this was a like sort of dentist tool that was being put in this person's mouth because of the emphasis on the teeth and the rubber glove. I thought it was a dentist the first time I looked at it. But upon further inspection, it is actually a tattoo pen. I wouldn't jump into saying this season is going to be about dentists, but I think the main prevailing theory regarding this poster is body modifications. And especially after Spencer Novich was added to the cast, a lot of people think this will be a major part in this season. And I think we're pretty close to cracking the theme, and I think the theme will be revealed pretty soon, so subscribe. The teeth in the poster are very similar to the stock photo that Ryan Murphy shared over the summer, and fans still think that this could be a very major part of the season, but I feel like I've talked about the sirens and mermaids thing a lot on this channel, so I'm not going to get into that anymore. So as you may know, AHS 10 was initially supposed to begin filming back in March, but due to obvious circumstances, it was pushed back to a fall start date. And uh, we even got confirmation at one point that filming was set to begin on October 31st. Obviously that has now passed and believe it or not, American Horror Story has not begun filming. So yes, uh, production has been pushed back yet again and we're not quite sure as to when. But we do know that sets are still being constructed for the season, so I would still expect American Horror Story to start filming pretty soon, uh, most likely next month, December, or even January at the very latest. But with sets nearly being completely constructed, I think I think they're most likely gearing up to be filming in the very near future. Here's, here's why I think there's been so much shuffling about the start time for American Horror Story season 10, and that is Ryan Murphy Productions tend to reuse a lot of the same crew members for the different shows that they are making. So like hairstylists, makeup artists, grips, those types of crew members, they might be working on American Horror Story, 911, Ratchet, all at the same time. And in a normal year, these shows would be filming at the same time, or there would be, at least be a few of them that overlap. But with COVID, obviously the crews have to be limited, and, and really who knows what restrictions there may be regarding one crew member working on multiple sets, like is that still allowed? So with COVID procedures in mind, I can imagine scheduling crews for these shows would be a massive headache, especially if they can't be worked on simultaneously, or there has to be different crews on each set. But the good news is American Crime Story Season 3 about the impeachment of President Clinton is filming and we actually did get a first look of Sarah Paulson as Linda Tripp. Alright, so let's pivot from American Horror Story to the brand new AHS spin-off, American Horror Stories. We just not only got the first official poster for American Horror Stories, but we also got some new cast members, and some new details about American Horror Stories. Firstly, let's talk about the poster. It features a woman with a hole cracked into her face, and inside her face are these spider webs, and there's a Black Widow spider. Beyond that, her lips are also painted like the back of a Black Widow, her hands are painted black, and she seems to be wearing latex or leather. I'll talk about the poster more in a bit, but let me just explain what the show is in case you are new here. American Horror Stories was greenlit earlier in the year, and it is an episodic anthology set in the AHS universe with many AHS cast members returning. It appears it's going to be an FX on Hulu exclusive, which I hear may be a bummer for some international fans, but we currently don't really know what the international distribution for the show will be. We also just got confirmation that the first season set to air next year in 2021 will have 16 episodes. And like I said before, uh, each episode will be a standalone story exploring new themes in the American Horror Story universe. So I have a bit of a theory regarding this poster, and I am 100% sure that it is 100% off base, but it does tie into something we talked about in the summer. So obviously the poster has this spider theme, uh, there's a Black Widow, so that immediately makes me think that maybe one of the 16 episodes will deal with arachnophobia or something relating to spiders. But beyond that, I think the first thing a lot of American Horror Story fans noticed was the latex that the model is wearing on the poster. So will one of the episodes of American Horror Stories explore the idea of a rubber woman, perhaps? Keep this in mind as I explain the rest of the theory because it's about to be a little bit in the world of 
delusion. But anyway, the, the model's hair in this photo and the model's hands on, positioned on her face and the black and whiteness of it all visually reminds me of a very specific Ariana Grande tour visual, specifically Be All Right from the Dangerous Woman tour. If you recall this summer, there were a lot of rumors that Ariana Grande would be joining the cast of season 10 because Ryan Murphy followed her on Instagram. You may be thinking that's not a big deal, but for the past however many years that Ryan Murphy has been on Instagram, he has only followed one person, and that is his husband. And then this summer, that number switched to two, and the other person was Ariana Grande. And for quite some time, he was only following those two people, but now he has since let a lot of people in. He now follows people on Instagram. So maybe Ryan Murphy was just learning how to use Instagram after all these years, but the day that he did follow Ariana Grande, he also posted a throwback photo to the set of American Horror Story Murder House with the title coming soon. And this photo from Murder House is of the rubber man. So do you see where I'm going with this? When this happened, American Horror Stories had not been announced yet. So with these two Instagram activities happening on the very same day, people were like, oh, Ariana Grande must be joining the cast of season 10. Because at the time we only knew about season 10, but now that we know about American Horror Stories, Obviously, that was in the works around that time because the announcement was very soon after. And the first official poster features potentially a hint towards a rubber woman. And if you recall, obviously, Ariana's worked with Ryan before on Scream Queens, and she was initially cast in Ryan's adaptation of The Prom, but she had to drop out due to touring conflicts. But let me know if you think this theory has any grounds at all. I think it's a possibility, but let me know if you would like to see Ariana in an episode of American Horror Stories. But moving on with some more big news regarding the spin-off, uh, two cast members have been added to the project. After many fans were disappointed that he would not be in season 10, Ryan Murphy revealed that Cody Fern will be featured in an episode of American Horror Stories. Obviously, he previously appeared in Apocalypse 1984 and American Crime Story Versace. And then also, straight from the murder house itself, we have Dylan McDermott, who will also be in an episode of American Horror Stories. Like I said, he has had roles in Murder House, Asylum, 1984, and Apocalypse. And I personally enjoyed his last role on 1984 a lot, and I also enjoyed him in Hollywood. So I'm looking forward to a new character in the American Horror Story world. I'm also very excited that Cody will have an episode. He is definitely one of my favorite newer actors that has been added to American Horror Story over the recent years. I loved him as David in Versace and obviously Michael Langton in Apocalypse. I do hope his new character has a little bit more meat than Xavier did in 1984. Well, there you have it. That is absolutely everything you need to know about American Horror Story season 10. And obviously what was supposed to kick off earlier in the year is finally about to kick off. So make sure you're subscribed because I will be updating you guys on all the filming updates once cameras do start to roll. On American Horror Story Season 10. Give this video a like if you learned anything new because it really does help my videos get recommended to other people. Leave a comment about what you would most like to see in American Horror Story Season 10. I will be trying to respond to every one of your comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.